Did you know that you can travel from Kuala Lumpur across the Malaysian border to Singapore in a double-decker luxury bus? Well, Ronnie and I did exactly that on our most recent trip to KL and Singapore. Come along with us as we ride with Transtar Travel in their first-class solitaire suites bus from Malaysia to one of Southeast Asia's most popular cities. We're Ronnie and Jeremy, and we're digital nomads traveling to every country in the world. We've been on the rails and in the air for the past three years, bringing you our unbiased reviews on travel destinations across the globe. After spending most of 2023 in South America, we're always looking forward to more adventures on every continent. And as always, we hope you'll come along with us for the ride, because you don't have to be a Kentuckian to travel with us, you just gotta have fun. Salamat Poggy YouTube fam and welcome back to the channel. Ronnie and I are up at dark 30 once again before the sun because today we have another border crossing adventure. We are hopping on a bus here in Kuala Lumpur that will take us down south across the border to Singapore. And as always, if you want to experience the ride with us, then come along with us. Let's go. Our travel adventure day begins here at the JW Marriott Kuala Lumpur before sunrise on Bukit Bintang. Ronnie and I checked out of the JW Marriott Kuala Lumpur early in the morning to make our walk over to the Transtar Travel bus office only minutes from our hotel. After we got checked in at the Transtar Travel bus office, we only had a short wait before our 7.30 bus departure from Kuala Lumpur down to Singapore. And welcome on board our first class Solitaire Suites luxury bus with four available seats on the lower deck and 19 seats available on the upper deck. Ronnie and I chose the first class seats in the back of the upper deck because the middle seat was blocked for this trip down to Singapore. You'll also notice these first class seats are equipped with many amenities including leather reclining seats with headrests, digital seat controls, individual air vents, and universal power supplies. And all of these first class seats are also equipped with plenty of space, including additional storage compartments and individual entertainment screens. And not shown here is our bus attendant who served us water, coffee, and tea, along with our breakfast meal service on this trip down to Singapore.
and our meal service for this bus ride from KL down to Singapore included a fried rice combo with curry chicken and potatoes. Ronnie and I both enjoyed the meal service on this bus ride as it was better than most food served on airplanes. And after the breakfast meal service had finished, it was time for Ronnie and I to get cozy in our blankets and find a movie for the remainder of the five hour trip down to Singapore. I spent most of my time just relaxing and watching the palm trees go by outside the window and soon we were crossing the Johor Strait which separates Malaysia and Singapore. And after crossing the Johor Strait, our bus did stop at Singapore's immigration for the land border crossing. Most of Singapore's immigration process is operated by digital kiosk and was somewhat smooth. Americans are issued a 90-day visa-free entry, while Indonesians are granted a 30-day visa-free entry. And as soon as we had cleared immigration and security for Singapore, our luxury bus dropped us at the nearest MRT station and Ronnie and I began our trip over to our hotel. We highly recommend Singapore's MRT system because it is very well connected, relatively inexpensive, and much more affordable than taking taxis. And once we boarded our MRT train, we arrived at our Sheraton Towers Hotel near Orchard Road in less than an hour. And welcome to Marriott Sheraton Towers Hotel, only minutes from the Orchard Road Shopping District in Singapore. And as you can see, Ronnie and I were once again awarded a free upgrade to an executive suite because of our Marriott Bonvoy Elite status. These free upgrades are one of the best benefits in having Elite status with any hotel brand because upgraded suites not only include larger suite rooms, but they also include access to executive clubs and lounges where guests can enjoy free food and drinks for their entire hotel stay. And because everything in Singapore is incredibly expensive, we highly recommend booking a hotel suite which includes breakfast and executive club access because this will likely save you plenty of cash on dining when you're visiting Singapore.
And after Ronnie and I got some food at the Sheraton Towers Executive Club, we took the MRT ride over to Sentosa Island, which is home to Singapore's Universal Studios. And if you're still with us on this trip to Singapore, we hope you will do us a solid and hit that thumbs up like button and subscribe to our channel. That is one of the best ways that you can support our work and keep us on the rails and in the air. As you might expect, this visit to Singapore's Universal Studios included lots of fun with the Universal characters, themed amusement rides, and a few thrill coasters. And since we were still celebrating Ronnie's birthday, the visit to Singapore's Universal Studios was the perfect cherry on top for her birthday celebration week. Um, this is my birthday celebration. <laughs> Our favorite thrill ride in the park was probably the new Cylon vs. Human roller coaster, but we also thoroughly enjoyed the very thoughtful decorations throughout the park as well. Ronnie and I also really enjoyed the shows at Singapore's Universal Studios, including the Waterworld show, which was filled with plenty of action-packed stunts and plenty of water. And here are a few highlights of the Waterworld stunt show as the audience enthusiasm really best illustrates the impressive production.
And as we leave you at Singapore's Universal Studios on Sentosa Island, we hope you will do us a solid and smash that thumbs up like button and share this video with all your friends on all those social media channels. And if you enjoy world travel content and jetting around the globe wherever we go, please subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell so you know when our new videos are uploaded every week. But remember, you don't have to be a Kentuckian to travel with us. You just gotta have fun. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on keeping on. Cheers. Cheers.